Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Shannon Lee, the Veggie Nut, and I make all kinds of vegan-related videos to help you live a more healthy, compassionate life. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button down below and that notification bell. That way you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get right into this one. If this is your first time here and you don't know, I lost just over 100 pounds. I was once 225 and now I'm in the low 120s and I got this way and lost the weight just by simply eating a healthy vegan diet, mostly whole plant foods. I'm the veggie nut after all, so I eat a ton of vegetables and I recommend everybody doing that. Veggies are your friend. Eat them, you'll lose weight, feel great, get in those veggies. So here it is, the question I get asked the most. It's about loose skin after losing weight. Those of you who have seen my weight loss videos, you see before and after, and some of you say, how come I don't have loose skin? Others say, ask, how do they avoid getting loose skin when losing a lot of weight? People have asked if I've had surgery to remove my loose skin. Do I have loose skin? Where is the loose skin? All that, so I'm gonna cover everything about the loose skin I can. It's um, not gonna be a long video. There's not that much to talk about, but I want to put this out there for everybody who had this question. First, no, I did not have any surgery. I've never had any cosmetic surgeries. How come I don't have loose skin? I do have loose skin. I just have been fortunate where I guess it, to me at least, it's not a big deal. It's not that bad. Maybe if like somebody else had my body, they would think it was bad, but it's nothing that's going to stop me from being happy and living my everyday life and feeling conf confident and comfortable in my skin. It's nothing that I feel like I personally don't have to go and have surgery for. I'm fine with it. Um, but again, it's up to the individual, maybe somebody else um, who lost weight and had my body wouldn't be happy with it and they would choose to have some kind of cosmetic surgery. Me, I do not have any plans on having surgery. I'm fine with how I am. I do have some, I say loose skin, it is loose skin, but it's not like when you typically hear about loose skin, it's usually like really um, excessive. You could pull it, you have like a lot of it, and that's why people choose to have it removed. I don't have that. I have like, like, well, I'm not wearing, uh, it, I just have a flat, like not tight skin, I would say. I look like somebody who needs to work out, <laughs> that's it. Like I look like somebody who has never hit the gym and they would be right, I pretty much do not exercise. So um, if I added exercise in while I was losing weight, I probably would have better results, but I'm a lazy person, <laughs> what can I say? So my loose skin is mainly under my arm. I have a little bit of loose skin around my stomach and around my thighs. It looks maybe the same as if somebody um, had a child and then they just, their skin isn't as tight on their stomach. Yeah, it looks like untoned skin. So people ask, how come? How come after losing 100 pounds, why don't I have a ton of excess skin? I think partly it's genetics. I think I just have good genes when it comes to skin bouncing back. I also believe that it's definite, definitely a huge part of that is that I lost weight gradually. I didn't lose 100 pounds in four months or six months. I lost it over years. So if you set yourself a realistic goal, like losing one to two pounds a week, if you have like a lot of weight to lose even if you lose five pounds a week as long as you don't drop like you know 20 pounds every week and you lose it gradually you give your chance your skin a chance to bounce back if you lose a ton of weight in a short period of time your skin just does not have the ability to bounce back from that and that's a big reason why people who have the weight loss surgery usually have a lot of excess skin and then they have to go in for the skin removal surgery because when you shrink your stomach down to something very small and you lose uh, a lot of weight really fast, you are going to have excess skin. And another part of that is when you have weight loss surgery and you can't really get in much food, you're also lacking a lot of vitamins and nutrients, which is another thing I really think that not only staying hydrated, but eating very um, nutrient dense, hydrating, vitamin mineral rich foods i think that's really important too it's good for our skin it's good for our insides and our outsides our skin our hair everything so if you're going to be lacking nutrients i think that plays a part 
on how your skin will look just like if you don't stay hydrated staying hydrated is really good for our skin i'm somebody that eats very nutrient dense high water content foods i eat a lot of things like broccoli which are loaded with both that hydration and vitamins so if you eat a lot of foods like that it definitely i mean is it's not always gonna help, but it's not gonna hurt. Just the same as drinking water and staying hydrated, it's only gonna help you. So that's it. Why don't I have loose skin? I do have loose skin. I've just been lucky that it's not that bad. It's nothing that is going to stop me from, again, living my everyday life and being a happy, confident person. How can you avoid loose skin? I would say you really can't avoid it you can try to do things to help it which would be not to lose a ton of weight in a short amount of time do it gradually and do set healthy weight loss goals try to lose weight naturally without having weight loss surgery i know for some people that that's their only option they just can't do it on their own but i would recommend that stay hydrated eat lots of nutrient dense foods and of course exercise this is something that um, I didn't personally do, but it definitely will help you and help everybody. So um, if you exercise while you're losing weight, that's definitely going to keep your body toned so you can work on being toned as you're losing weight. I did want to address that usually when I receive these questions, it's from people saying, I want to lose weight, but I don't want to have loose skin. And that really makes me sad because I understand nobody wants that, like carry around a ton of excess skin that could be both very uncomfortable and you're not gonna feel good about yourself. So I understand that, but never let there be a but when it comes to getting healthy and losing weight. Your health is first and you're not gonna be healthy if you're carrying around a, a lot of extra weight. So even if you're healthy now, down the road, you could have health problems. So please don't let something like having some excess skin stop you from taking a path to getting healthy. It's just really a shame. I, again, I'm, I'm fortunate. I don't have a lot of ex excess skin, but even if I did, even if I did, I would still have chose to lose the weight 100%. I just feel so much better with myself not only how I look, but how I feel. And that's the most important thing. I used to be really unhealthy. I was on uh, uh, fistfuls of medicine three times a day, taking a whole bunch of medicine. I had a long list of medical problems at a young age. And now I am happy to say I am on zero medication. I have no health problems and I'm just a healthy person now. And that feels good, um, better than what I look like or having any kind of skin issue. So, and if it really makes you uncomfortable, you can always have, if you have a lot of excess skin, you can always have it removed. So don't let that stop you. Don't let that uh, turn you away from getting healthy. Good luck to you on your weight loss journey. You could do it because I'm telling you if I did it, and I'm lazy AF, <laughs> I'm a lazy person. Trust me, I'm a couch potato. If I lost weight, so can you. Don't let anything get in your way and just keep going. Don't give up. If you fall off the wagon, just get back on. I hope that was helpful. It answered your question. That was my number one asked question. I get asked all the time. So I wanted to do a video dedicated to that even though there's not that much to say on it. But I answered the questions and that way now if somebody asks me again, I could just direct them and send them over here to this video. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.